Hello everyone, this is Riley on Music Master, and welcome to our first episode, or our first uh, video on social emotional learning. Today, in this video, we're going to talk about positive and negative attitude, and how um, you can, <clears throat> if you have any sort of um, attitude, like if you have problems with negative attitude, and if you have problems with trying to develop a positive attitude, um, these video, these tips may help you work on it. So, um, we're going to start with some things. So, positive attitude is more of like, so if I, if I said, you know, if, say you're in a, say you're in a, uh, Con like, say you're in a concert and you have to perform. Well, um, you know, having a positive attitude would be something like, okay, I can do this, I've got this, I know what I'm doing. Like, I can do it, I can do it. But a negative attitude is the exact opposite. You're saying, I can't. So, and that also relates to another trait of um, our social emotional learning, which is called optimism. Now, the definition of optimism is that if you are op optimistic, it means you look to the bright side of yourself instead of... So, pretend this. I'm going to spread my arms out like this and say the left side is going to be my dark side and the right side is going to be my bright side. So I'm looking kind of in the middle right now. If I turn my head towards my right side, that means I'm looking towards this the bright side of myself and that's going to have a, that's going to give me a positive attitude. But if I look this way, then if I look to my left, then that's going to tell me that I'm looking at at the dark side of myself and so that's not it's going to give me a negative attitude. So that's how, that's a kind of a physical way to explain what optimism is. It's, you look to the bright side of yourself. Oh my god, really? Well, anyway, you look to the bright side of yourself and say, so if, if I'm looking this way, so I'm going to look this way and I'm going to say, okay, I can do this. But if I look this way, then I'm saying I can't do this. So there's a difference. And um, a, a great example of optimism would be, okay, so imagine a cup and a water jug. It's right in front of you on the table. Say, okay, don't, don't, so you can even do this at home. Grab a, cu like a, a cup and a water jug and then pour the water into the cup, but it's not like, don't just pour it halfway, okay? Pour the water halfway, and then, and then think of these two possibilities. Your cup can be either half empty or half full. Now, okay, here's the difference, but here's the catch, though. If I were to say right now, my water cup is half empty, that's negative. Why? Well, because it me because you're trying to say that my cup is you're going towards the empty side and the and ha and having no water at all. Like empty means you're not having any water in your cup. So if you said to yourself, "Okay, my water cup is half empty." That is negative. But if I but if I told you, but if you said my water cup is half full, that's positive. Why? Because you go to because you're telling yourself, okay, I'm I'm halfway close. I'm close to full. I um, and I I know I have wa I know at least I have water. So it's gonna be positive. So again, half half empty. So if your cup is if if I said my cup is half empty, that's negative. But if I said my cup is half full, that's positive. So. That's another way to kind of explain optimism. And 
positive and negative attitude. Now, the next thing I want to get into is the fact that it's very easy, and I say very easy, like, as kind of an over-exaggeration, I guess, but it's actually, but the, here's the, tr the true fact is that it's actually easier to develop a negative attitude than to develop a positive attitude. However, that, okay, however, that doesn't mean that it's going to be that way. You can actually change that. So you can actually, so like I said, so like I said before, you can actually reverse it so it's actually easier for you to have a positive attitude than a negative attitude. Now, that's going to be easy if you're, but the only way you can do that is if you think more you have to start walking and dragging yourself more towards the positive side. Because if you drag yourself more towards the negative side, then your brain is used to thinking the negative way. And that's why it makes it much easier for you to go, okay, I can't do this. But if you go towards the positive side, then your brain is used to it. So having a positive or a negative attitude is all about whether you're going to train your brain Um, whether you're going to train your brain to think more towards the bright side or the dark side of yourself. Now, another and a simple way to describe um, these two ways is fixed mindset and growth mindset. Now, let me explain the terms. So fixed mindset is you're, if you have, if someone, a person with a fixed mindset is always going to they're always going to believe that, you know, if they, if they're, if they fail, then that's it. They can't, like, they can't improve it. Their mind is fixed there, and because it's fixed, you can't, you can't grow. Now, a growth mindset is the exact opposite. So, so a fixed mindset, a person with a fixed mindset would usually have the highest risk of having a negative attitude because they don't believe that they can grow. They don't believe that they can learn from failures. But a growth mindset, someone with a growth mindset, though, is going to act the exact opposite way. And that means they're going to say, okay, I failed at this and I know I did it. I know I can improve it. And so they're going to make that effort to improve it. And therefore, they're going to go more towards the positive side. Now, just like how I said, you can actually walk towards a positive attitude. You can develop a growth mindset. Now, here are some... Now, let me go into some tips on what you can do. If you're someone with a fixed mindset and you always seem to have a negative attitude, <clears throat> one, think of some words that are less negative. So, for example... If I said the word, I suck, okay, think about that word for a minute, I suck. It sounds negative, right? Now, don't, don't put an antonym of that. I mean, I guess you could try it that way, but it doesn't always work, okay? Don't, don't do it like that. What you want to do is make a synonym of the same word, of the same negative word that you said. So, I suck... Replace the word suck with a word that sounds less negative. So replace the word suck with a word that sounds less negative, but not the complete opposite of the word you said. Uh, or of the word you're trying to replace. So I'm not going to replace the word suck with rock because that's the complete opposite. What you want to do is replace the word that sounds similar, like it, it kind of communicates a similar message, but it's less negative. So saying, I suck, you could replace it with a word like, I stink, which sounds less negative. And that's called emotion. That word's called emotion. So I suck. Replace it with that, I stink. Or anything that sounds like 
that sounds similarly negative, but it's the word is less negative. Like, it's not as negative as you saying the word suck. Or, and always, another thing, though, when it comes to, like, I... Like, so if you have a problem with saying, like, I can't do this, or I I can't do this, or I can't whatever, take that word can't out and replace it with the, replace it with the antonym of that word. So the only time you would use synonyms is if I said, I suck at everything, I stink at everything. You know, that sounds less negative. But if it comes to a situation where you're always like, I can't, I can't, I can't, here's the thing. The more you say, I can't, your brain's going to get used to it. And so you have to, you have to not fix it, but you have to kind of slowly get your mind towards saying, towards a positive attitude. And the way you can do that is, so if I said, I can't, like, I can't do this. Replace the word can't with can. I can do this. Because you know what? There's, there's been a thing, well, I don't know, but I'm not gonna even going to get into st- statistics or research. But if you say, I can, then your brain actually, you actually, like, if you said, I can't, you're going to know that you can't. But if you know that you can't and you say, I can you actually have the highest chance of succeeding because your brain, because you're encouraging yourself by saying, I can do this rather than putting yourself down by saying, I can't do this. So it's a matter of, it's a matter of, you know, I like when you say, if you're saying the word can't replace the word with, replace the word can't with can, because if you replace that, so for example, if I gave you, something if I said so say you're rock climbing and if I said okay I can't do this replace that word can't with can so you know like you know in your you know fully in your heart you can't do it but if you but if you say that you can then the exact opposite actually happens to you so it's actually It's actually very, you know, it can, it can help you slowly kind of develop that attitude and you, you have to practice and remember practice makes perfect and you're not going to be perfect on the first try. Okay. No one's going to be perfect on the first try. You need to practice. You need to work on it. And, and you know what, you you know what, you'll actually, you'll, you'll actually feel pretty good about it because you'll actually feel pretty good about it and it will help you kind of towards that half full side of your side rather than half empty or the bright side instead of your dark side. So speech off. View, view, view five. Stop recording video. 13, zoom. 13 minutes. Stop recording speech off. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this um, video. I hope this was helpful. Please make sure you like comment and subscribe and um, to Riley and Bob it. Oh, sorry. Please make sure you like comment, subscribe to this channel. As well as my other channel, Riley and Bobbits, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.